So I have here the Krieger US Dry Pack, US standing for universal, which means these can fit on basically any single motorbike without too much fiddling around. They have a really cool strapping mechanism to put them on any motorbike. Now they can be pieced together in combinations, a bit like Lego, attached together to build a whopping 70 litre combination of luggage storage. But they also go all the way down right to the small five litre. Now in front of me here, I have a five litre bag, a 10 litre bag, a 20 litre bag, and a 30 litre bag. Different combinations, different styles, look up on the website, put in the different combinations that you want and you can build yourself a personalized kit of luggage storage for your motorbike. So one of the great things about these bags is how light weight they are. Now if you go down rack systems like this, and it should be noted this rack system is not needed for the installation of these bags, these uh, steel racks weigh a huge amount and then if you're going to put on hard boxes it's even more weight. So bags are the way of saving weight, which is hugely important. They're also very easy just to put from one bike to another bike to another bike. You don't have to buy a different rack system with each motorbike model that you have. And also if you're using it as a city commuter and you don't necessarily want a big luggage rack on your bike when you're going around town, then these have a system. They just come off the bike and they're off the bike. There's no sort of leftover rack system. So really I find it very hard to find any major downsides of using a soft bag system over a traditional big rack system. They can also be mounted as tank bags. You can use the four straps that come with the bag or there is a specific tank bag converter kit. But basically a little bag like that if you want or you can even do a 20 litre can go right up here on the front of the motorbike. They can also be worn as a backpack. They come with a strap uh, and you can just take it off the bike, put it on your, back, on your back and then walk off into a hotel. They are so, so, so convenient and they really are the answer to the luggage storage problems of road motorbikes. Now goes without saying Krieger is seriously high quality gear. They come with a 10 year warranty. They are bulletproof. Uh, it says Cordura fabric, whatever that means. All I know is they are built very, very tough. They come with an outside pocket that's semi-waterproof and then an internal bag system that's 100% waterproof. The liner can be removed for easy washing, that kind of thing. Very simple. So basically you've got two pockets on every single size of bag. So let me show you how they work and how they stack up together like Lego. It's really, really cool. So the first thing you need to do is take the seat off the bike. That obviously depends on what model of motorbike that you've got, but with the CB500X here, it's super easy. The key just unclips the seat for you. So the bags come with four straps like this. And basically the way it works is you create a loop around anything that you want. So if you have a, any sort of bar on your subframe, the loop goes around there, you pull that tight. And then this little thing with the dot on it will just be hanging on the outside of the seat, barely visible. People passing by wouldn't even notice that it's there. Pop the seat back on. So this is the US 30 litre, which is more than enough for most people traveling by themselves. Uh, keep in mind that all of the bags strap on in exactly the same way. Pull the traps tight and that's not gonna go anywhere. Not backwards, not forwards, not sideways. Okay, so you got your 30 litre loaded up, but for some reason or another, you've decided you need more luggage. So what do you do? You buy another bag but you can see why I like selling these now. Uh, very simple, add it on. Clip that in there, clip that in there, and then you do the same on the other side. And then for some reason, you decide you need even more luggage. What do you do? You buy the 20 litre bag. This clips straight on the side there. But no, you need even more luggage. What you can do is strap that onto there or you could put it on there do whatever you want it doesn't really matter that's the great thing about these no more worries about traveling light if you want to add more weight to your bike then start light and then add and add and add don't start heavy and then find that you run out of space with a hard box that doesn't get any bigger so a common question might be 
which size do you start with? And I think most people would be happy with a 20 liter. If you're starting to go up to 30 liters, you're probably starting with a little bit too much luggage. If you do a 20, then you add two 10s on the side if you want. You're gonna have a nice, small, uh, compact, compact luggage system. The other thing to note with these is they do need stuff in them to be able to mount them in such a way. Obviously, if the bag is flat with nothing inside, they're not gonna to jigsaw together particularly well. So you wanna try and realistically think about what you're gonna get, and I think for most people that's the 20 liter with the tens. And then you might also use the tens as a very large um, tank bag. But if you know you're gonna be traveling with your wife, and you know you're gonna be carrying lots of extra gear, then by all means go for the 30 liter and then you can build up a set all the way up to 70 liters, which is absolutely enormous. Keep in mind, most hard boxes on ADV bikes are 30 li 37 liters maximum. So 70 really is huge. Now you might be thinking all these extra straps are gimmicky and where are you gonna put them in your storage? The Krieger have even thought of that. And they have a little secret compartment in the back for the straps. So once you take it off a motorbike, you put the straps on, and you now have a backpack.